Okay, I am putting this video up <clears throat> to help a few people out, hopefully. Um, I have a MCP44 master cool, and uh, the control panel became erratic. Uh, the pump wouldn't stay on with the fan, or even when it did, occasionally it would switch off, or the buttons would just act really goofy. Um, after a while, uh, it literally would just flash pump and fan over and over again, turning the fan and the pump off several times per second. It was pretty bad. Uh, so I took the control circuit apart, <clears throat> and there's actually two boards in there. You've got this control board that sits right behind the touch panel on the front and works as a control for the uh, remote here. And then you have a relay board, uh, which is larger. It's pretty obvious which one that is. Um, and that actually turns the motors and the fans on and off uh, via control from this guy. So after messing with the relay board, I determined that uh, it seemed to be okay. Uh, the problem ended up being this guy here. Uh, so after taking this off and putting it on a stable 5 volt power supply, it is working great. So, my guess is, and I'm going to be finding out here shortly, the 5 volt supply that is going to this guy right here has some spikes in it or some noise, some kind of issue. So I'm going to be trying to figure that out. And uh, hopefully if I do, it will help uh, somebody else with the same problem. I know there's a lot of people online with this issue. And they're about 75 bucks to replace this board, and I suspect it's probably going to be a, a bad diode or capacitor, so it'll probably cost you 10 cents to fix it at home. Anyway, just to show you, it is working fine. Power on. This is your pump, and cycling through the fans. Everything's working great. It did not work at all when connected to the unit. Um, one little interesting note. Uh, let me zoom in on the board here, and I'll show you. Okay, this is the main control board that uh, controls the relay board. Uh, you can see it's very simple. You got plus 5 volt and ground that powers this board here. And then it sends the plus 5 to one of these outputs to turn things on and off on the relay board. Um, not much involved there. Uh, these are very interesting. They took me a minute to figure out particularly because the chip that they go to is Chinese, and I couldn't find anything in English. But uh, apparently this chip here that these are controlling is actually for a touchscreen monitor. So these are, de these are detecting um, maybe capacitance uh, changes when you get close to them. Um, and then the main controller chip here is a uh, Samsung IC 8-bit uh, microcontroller, I believe. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to know that there was nothing wrong with this board because I don't want to have to try and troubleshoot that. Uh, so let me go show you what I did to the other board and uh, see if I can figure out what's going on with it. Okay, once you open up the uh, front panel, and I should probably say if you don't have any electrical safety experience, you probably shouldn't be doing this. But uh, this is what you get. The uh, touch panel on the front sits right here. Um, what I did, let me see if I can get all this out of here. This is the relay board that I was talking about. As you can see, there is some serious heating around the diodes here, which cut down to 5 volts for the, the main board, so I suspect that's probably going to be the issue. We'll find out in a minute. Um, but what I did to get this thing going temporarily, until I figured the problem out, was I just jumpered 5 volts from the supply that goes to the control board, over to uh, one of the fan speeds and pump one so that when I plug the unit in, it will just be defaulted to uh, whatever speed uh, that I have it set for and the, obviously the water pump will come on. Uh, I've been using it for about a week like this and uh, no problems whatsoever. So uh, let's go figure out what's going on with this thing. Okay, after a whole heck of a lot of fun, um, it turned out that these two capacitors right here, the black ones, were both bad. And that was the problem. Here's the old ones. I actually upped the voltage on the new ones. Not sure if it's really necessary, but uh, this one was uh, 35 volts. I made it 50. And uh, it was reading at like 0.5. <laughs> Pretty bad. And uh, this one here was... 16 volts and I upped it to uh, I think 35 or 25 um, and instead of 100 it was reading like 0.05 
It was really bad. So anyway, everything's working good now. So if you have this problem and you know somebody that uh, can pull these two guys out right here and test them, put new ones in, cost you like 20 cents, good to go.